What's up everyone? Welcome back to EMC. Happy New Year. It's 2022 and we're going to start the new year with a bang. Now, everyone saw that I posted a 992 GT3 in PTS Ruby Stone Red, otherwise known as Ruby Star Red. I let the car sit at the dealership on display for about two weeks and today I'm finally coming to pick it up. So I'm going to share with you guys all my excitement all the good news. But before we check out the car, I do want to talk a little bit about my choices. At the end of 2021, you guys saw that I came back to Porsche and I picked up the Cayenne Turbo. I honestly really missed Porsche. I've had a bunch of different cars and the car that really ignites my passion is Porsche. I really, really missed my GT3 actually that I had, which was the 991.1. And when I had the opportunity to put down an order for the 992 GT3, I jumped on that. Uh, although I had to wait a very, very long time, but I did get extremely lucky. I got a very early allocation and, you know, it came a lot earlier than expected. Why the GT3? Well, I mean, it, it's an icon. It's a legend, starting with the 996 GT3. When you sit in a GT3, the driving position, the feeling that you get, the handling, the feedback, like everything about it, it's just so raw, so amazing. Although we're in a digital age, you still get the analog feel. I know you guys really want to see the car, but there's just one more thing I do want to talk about. Paint to sample, PTS. This is the first time for me getting a PTS Porsche. Honestly, the experience is amazing. It's kind of like you're going into a candy store, looking at all these different colors of candies that you want, but they're very, very special. It's not just the typical colors. It's, it's incredibly mixed, beautiful custom paint that costs a shitload, okay? I'm gonna be honest, it costs an arm and a leg, but it's worth it. <laughs> I mean, it's, it almost sounds stupid thinking about spending so much money on it, but honestly, when you see it in person, it's worth it. Every region, every country, they will only allocate a certain number of PTS options to their VIPs. The PTS color in Ruby Stone Red or Ruby Star Red that I chose is part of the Porsche bloodline, is part of the RS bloodline. It started with the 964 RS. That's why I chose this color because of the genetics. I wanted to mix the GT3 uh, with the PTS and I guess I wanted to have a combination that was so rare, so special. I don't really need to talk about the GT3 that much. You guys all know the GT3, probably better than I do. But this car to me is probably better than a supercar. We're gonna see. So. Let's go collect the car because Ryan is waiting and my other good friend Max is waiting. So let's get going. Yo guys, so I'm here. I'm very, very excited. Uh, Sonny's somewhere. I don't know where he is, but in one second, we're gonna, we're gonna unveil this thing and I can just tell you, I don't even know what I'm looking at. Look at this thing, it's crazy. Sonny, where are you? Sonny. Yo, 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 yo. Yo, yo. So what's up, Doc? Well, I mean, we are here to unveil the car and just share this excitement with everyone. I already posted it, but it's yeah. different yeah. than seeing it in person. Yeah, it's yeah, your yeah, first yeah. time. Yeah, I, I haven't, I, I saw you post photos of it, but I haven't really actually seen the actual thing. And I gotta just tell you, when you look at the contours, the oh. shapes, yeah. Dude, it's like, it's, dude, you're it's like so Pete Davidson, man. This is like Kim Kardashian. <laughs> like, this is, hey, I, dude, I, I got dizzy. I got dizzy. She's got a nice rump. Or this is right. like, all right. So, uh, yeah, I'm excited, man. Yeah, man. Well, well, I mean, listen, I think everyone just wants to see what this PTS color looks like. Um, but yeah, I mean, look at this wing. Look at that wing. Look at the, look at that. Oh, man, look at these wheel arches. Yeah, I mean, this, this is sexy. This is sexy. This is sexy. So. All right, I guess let's just do this. All right, guys, let's do this. Oh, yeah! I haven't been this excited about picking up a car or actually just looking at my new car. I'm actually not gonna pick it up today uh, because I'm not really gonna pick it up until first week in January, but it, it's right upstairs, so come on. Oh, dude! Dude. Tell me this is not the hottest GT3. Like, 
Oh, I don't even know what to say to you guys. I mean, just, just, just look for yourselves. Oh, I just, I want to hug it. Oh. Oh. This is mine. This is mine. All right, sorry, Dizzy. I uh, just fell in love with someone else. I mean, they even left the stickers on. This literally just got off the boat. I'm gonna peel off the stickers later. They said they had to peel off the exterior stickers, which is fine. Uh, they left some stickers for me to peel off. I have to say, this is definitely one of the best car unwrapping, car unveiling, car unboxing, whatever you want to call it. Definitely one of the best feelings in the world for this. And uh, I'm actually going to keep this. I'm going to keep this, all right? This is going to be worth a lot one day. I'll see you guys. Ooh, damn! Oh shit, this is so hot. This is so hot. Oh yes! This is my new car. All right, that, th this is it. What do you guys think? Max, what do you think, man? This is like awesome. Fuck, right? like, 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 it, it looks like a manual. But I remember when I first saw it, I, I thought you could like, still like, It looks like a shifter, but it's not. Dude, I can't wait to give you guys a full-on review. And we're gonna drive this thing, man. Dude, I, can we start it up? I, I wanna hear it. Yes, we are gonna start her up. I wanna see this interface, too. Yeah, let's do it. What I like about the design right here is that they still have an analog style rev meter, um, but with the five circles, but these are all digital on the side. So the most important thing, the rev meter, it goes up to 9,000, probably a little more. The whole digital interface, there's a huge rectangular screen right here. Steering wheel, I mean, it's just classic GT3 steering wheel, all black carbon fiber inserts, leather with uh, Alcantara seats. Um, oh, and I got the Bose surround sound. That is very, very important. And a roll cage. We got a roll cage and a four point harness, which I'm not going to use right now. And the but... fire extinguisher. Ah, yes, we got the fire extinguisher. Oh yeah. Cup holders. Yeah, oh, so we do have one. We have two. Do I? We have I two. Have five. Oh, Yo, okay. that's a proper everyday car. Yeah, if so we have, have two, two cup holders, holders that's a fucking daily driver, dude. That's true. Yeah. Let's check out the exterior. Yeah, let's go. Let's check out the exterior. I just want to talk about the front end. Um, these two vents are actually very functional. So the air actually goes through the front grill and the air goes up here and it creates more downforce. High tech stuff, very aerodynamic. I did get the black LED matrix headlights, which I think is a great look that goes with the black front bumper. Some people don't like that, but I, I kind of like it. I like the contrast between, you know, the, the pink and... Well, the, the Touring has a, has a painted bumper. Oh, right? thanks for kicking my car. <laughs> <laughs> the, the Touring has a painted front bumper. Uh, so yeah. that was like the kind of the, 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 the minutia difference in them, right? Oh yeah, I think he has the painted... The, yeah, the yeah, the, the yeah. Touring. I went with the standard color wheels because I liked the idea of the 964 RS in ruby stone or ruby star red with the silver wheels so i kind of went with that original look carbon ceramic brakes yellow brake calipers yellow and pink goes this option was never an option on a gt3 before which is a carbon fiber roof yeah i saw that this rooftop in full carbon fiber you know what they should have done it a long time ago but obviously everyone's going to want to talk about the swan neck i think this is the first time they did a swan neck usually a spoiler just upright but they kind of you know, create a crane neck or a swan neck, whatever you want to call it. Uh, this is actually very, very wide and it's, it's very big. It looks gorgeous. And you can actually oh, yeah, tilt the angle. Actually tilt the angle. So, I mean, if you're at the track, 
Um, I'm sure you know you want a little more downforce, but I think for everyday driving, I'm not gonna mess with it. Uh, I did get the black LED rear taillights. Uh, that is a nice touch, I think, because everything else was black. The dual center tailpipes. Yeah, right here, there's some vents. The ventilation, I guess, to dissipate more heat. But this time, I heard that you can't lift the cover here. Only these things lift up. Kind of like the McLaren, where you can't see the engine. So they, don't, they don't want you to Yeah, I think that's the only thing I don't like about it. Yeah. I kind of want to see the 4.0. The stance is already pretty aggressive. Right? Oh, yeah. I mean, that, that's a very good point. So the stance is super aggressive. For um, a stock car. Look at the stock. It's actually 20 and 21s. Okay, so it's already staggered. It's already staggered. Uh, before the GT3 was only 20s. Now they did the 21s. And in it's the almost, it's, it's pretty oh, close to flush. So the front is 255, 35, and 20, and the rear is 315, 30, and 21. Another difference between the GT series cars and the standard Carreras is the center lock wheels. Yeah. So the center lock wheels is just literally one center bolt. So, quick, you know. Quick change. Quick change, yeah. for racing purposes. Yeah. yeah, dude. I love this thing. It's so loud. It's awesome. <laughs> He's happy, he's happy. <laughs> so before I end the vlog, I just want to give a couple shout outs. First is Core Center in Taipei. They are amazing to work with. And you know what? I just wanted to say thank you, Michael. Thank you, Lion. And thank you, everyone that is at Porsche. You guys are amazing. You guys know who you are. Before we go, I just want you guys to comment. Let me know what you guys think about the 992 GT3. I know it's very loud, but I love it. Let me know in the comments. We are gonna do a very special giveaway. I'm actually gonna pick three lucky winners from the comment section of YouTube. And we're also gonna pick three lucky winners from my comment section on IG. And we're gonna be giving away two new products from EMC. So good luck everyone. And I'm gonna go off right now. We're gonna be doing a lot of vlogs on this GT3, but I have to go get two things done right away. First is I need some tints. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna get all black tints or maybe just some type of clear tint to protect the interior and the UV and the temperature. But I'm gonna get some Greenway protective films so I can protect my car. And I'm gonna get a PPF wrap. A PPF wrap is so important because I have to protect this paint. And if I'm gonna go for a canyon or mountain drives, there's gonna be a bunch of rocks and I don't want any chips on this paint, so I got a protector. Anyway, I'll see you guys soon. Peace. Peace. All right, boom, boom, let's go, man. Yep. <laughs> Can we actually <laughs> drive it now? Can we actually drive it? Yeah, let's go drive it.